Hello, Ed Walsh in here at Walzer South St. Paul Subaru, just welcoming you to this thorough and complete walk around for the 2021 Subaru Ascent model. Now the Ascent is the newest Subaru vehicle first debuting in 2019, and it is both the most spacious and largest Subaru vehicle ever built, offering you three rows of flexible seating, as well as seven or eight seat passenger configurations. And don't forget the Subaru symmetrical all-wheel drive system, simply the best all-wheel drive system on the market today. Now, as we, for the purpose of this walk around, we're gonna be taking a look at the Subaru Touring Ascent, the top of the line model, letting you get a look at all the features that this vehicle will offer. We'll start here with the front clad grille, the beautiful black uh, grille here with the silver chromed accents, which are indigenous to the Touring package only, and you will see those silver chrome finishes throughout the exterior of the vehicle. If we come over to the lighting on the vehicle, you will notice that the vehicle does come with uh, fog lights as well as new and standard on all 2021 Ascents steering responsive LED headlights designed to turn when you turn to give you optimal lighting in all of your night driving conditions. As we move up further, we'll go to the engine. The Ascent offers one engine option for you. That is the 2.4 liter turbocharged direct injected boxer engine offering 260 horsepower and 277 pounds of torque, giving you 21 estimated MPG city, 27 highway and 5,000 pounds of towing capacity. As well, as we move up to the uh, window here, you will see the Subaru EyeSight cameras, which are gonna manage everything for you from its pre-collision braking, adaptive cruise control, lane centering and lane assist, adding to that already great five-star crash rating that Subaru offers. Now, if the touring package is just a little bit too much for you, that's fine. We've got plenty of other packages to offer, such as the base, the premium, and the limited, in case you're looking for something a little more simplistic or a little more affordable. Now, as we come to the side of the vehicle, uh, the vehicle is keyless entry, so all you have to do is have your key fob on you, put your hand in the door handle, and it'll open up for you on the spot. As we move into the vehicle, you'll notice the beautiful and luxurious four-tone, if you will, interior, uh, wood grained. You'll also notice the Harman Kardon speaker system, the top of the line uh, audio system put in their cars by Subaru. As well, you'll notice the Java Brown perforated leather with power passenger seat as well, the ivory finish to the uh, dashboard, and then your multimedia touchscreen that we will talk about and get into when we get inside the vehicle. And as we come to the back portion, the passenger seats of the vehicle, um, you'll notice in here, we do have a privacy shade offering for you. Uh, then as well as we look inside the vehicle itself, you'll notice uh, the uh, back seat here uh, actually can slide forward via a track, um, or as well, you can simply fold the seat down giving you up to 86 cubic feet of space on the go uh, to give you more of that storage capacity when needed. As well, if we move the seat back up, you can get a look at the back seat climate control in there with heated seats, as well as a 12 volt outlet and then your USB ports for charging. And then lastly, up above in the vehicle, a massive 54 inch panoramic moonroof Beautiful, adding in all kinds of lighting inside the vehicle. All right, we're on the backside of the Ascent now and we'll begin our tour here. We'll start it off with the uh, rear spoiler with brake light. We've also got your rear windshield wiper. We do have your backup camera standard on all vehicle trim levels. Uh, you have your uh, rear uh, tail lights, again, with the silver chrome finish clad on the Touring package. You've also got your reverse automatic braking and great safety feature on the vehicle and your dual exhaust tailpipes on this vehicle as well. Inside, as we head in there, you'll notice this is of course power lift gate. Um, as we come inside, plenty of room here, three rows of seating again on the ascent. And I can show you that the back third row of seats with a little pull on the lever here will recline for you. So you can recline forward or backward, however you so choose. When it's time to just pop it down and utilize all the space that the Ascent offers you, simply kick them down with the lever and there you go, over 86 and a half cubic feet of space, 19 cup holders in this vehicle. And as well, we've got more storage capacity down here. This is your privacy shade here, so you can simply take it out when you need to utilize it and then pop it right back in when you don't. And then also on the back portion of the vehicle, your spare tire is gonna be down be, uh, underneath there. And as well, don't forget that Subaru is gonna offer you three years and 36,000 miles of complimentary roadside assistance on the vehicle. 
Now, as we come along to the passenger side here, we'll take a look at the tires. Uh, we have got beautiful 20-inch alloy tires with your chrome uh, hubs there, uh, just giving it, again, a little bit more elegance and refinement to the look of the Ascent. As we come up to the passenger side here, we'll open the, uh, pass the, or rather the driver's side door. You'll notice the blind spot detection here designed to help you see what's coming when you cannot. Uh, as we move over here, you'll notice the memory seating. You do have two different seat configurations for different passengers. Uh, you have your controls for your power folding mirrors. As we go inside and take a look at your seating, uh, you will have a thigh extension on the front seat there in the touring package. You also have the power lumbar support on the driver's seat. And then also uh, the buttons up on the dash there, many different features, everything from uh, fog lights, power uh, lift gate, uh, traction control, and blind spot detection. All of those great features available for you. All right, we are inside the Subaru Ascent model now, and I want to reiterate that this is the biggest Subaru car ever built, offering you over 153.5 of cargo and passenger space, so plenty of room for this vehicle to meet all of your family needs and your packing and cargo needs. So as we start here in the vehicle, we're gonna move up to the very top here. You'll notice the Subaru Safety uh, Starlink system, which will allow you uh, to either con uh, contact Subaru in the event of an accident, a flat tire, or whatever need you may have. As we move to the, uh, the back rear view mirror, you're gonna see the compass there. You do have home link to help control your garage door. And also a really slick feature on the touring package only is if you cannot see out of your rear view mirrors due to cargo or passengers, simply flip the switch here and it gives you a rear view camera so that you can see out the vehicle and it is clear and precise. So a, a great feature on the touring package only. As we move down, we'll go to our six and a half inch uh, screen there. And it is there where you will see uh, the different safety features offered on the scent. And when you hit the source button on the steering wheel, you can simply, or excuse me, the view button on the steering wheel, you can simply page through different uh, options for you on the car, uh, date, time, uh, your, uh, how many gallons you're, you're averaging, how many uh, miles left on your current tank, radio station, uh, again, uh, compass and whatnot. So it gives you some different functionality there. As well, uh, if you hit the view button, this vehicle is also gonna offer a 180 degree front view camera. So you can see what it is you're pulling up to. Uh, as well, we come down to the eight inch uh, infotainment uh, touch screen here. Uh, lots of different features here. The limited and the touring package will offer a really slick uh, navigation map package there for you, very easy to use. Uh, if we back out of that, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto Accessibility. For vehicles uh, and trim levels that don't offer the map package, simply plug your phone in and GPS will come up on the screen for you there. Um, as we uh, move down, you'll notice a CD player still thrown in there for the old schoolers. Uh, very easy to use dials for the volume. Uh, as we roll down even further, you'll notice the climate control area in here, dual zone climate control at that where you can adjust your temperature and fan and whatnot. Also down here, uh, your front and rear fog lights, air conditioning, and you also have heated seats and also on the touring package, ventilated seats as another great option for you there. As we come down further, you'll notice your USB ports and your auxiliary. We also have a couple of functions here kind of behind the uh, shifter there. We have the X mode feature, which is designed to help you get through deep snow and mud. It'll work succinctly with your all wheel drive system so that you can kill it in the snow and in the dirt. Uh, as well, you've got your auto vehicle hold so you can come to a complete stop by taking your foot off the brake pedal when you are at a stop. Uh, parking uh, brake is just a button there. And if you use the shifter, you can move down to manual mode and you've got the paddle shifters, which will allow you the opportunity to shift those gear ratios at your whim. On the right side of the steering wheel, you will notice the adaptive cruise control feature. Uh, the steering wheel uh, button here is your lane centering, which will offer you the opportunity to keep you within the lane and keep you from fading, as well as just choosing how many car links you would like to pace the vehicle ahead of you. As well, a great feature on the limited and touring packages is the heated steering wheel. Perfect for Minnesota winners. You will not want to be without it. And then on the left side, you will have your hands-free, uh, whether it be for your phone. Uh, you can also page through radio stations or Apple CarPlay music tracks. Utilize the volume for the radio, for your music tracks, and for talking on the phone. And then as we move into the center dashboard there, you'll notice the miles per hour there. There's a little I set function 
option on the left side of the steering wheel. If you page through that, it'll bring up different features on the car, such as vehicles, PSI, um, also it'll let you know your current uh, miles left on the tank, your average MPG, and uh, give you some other functions in there that you can utilize on the vehicle. All right, so we wanna thank you for taking this tour today on the Subaru Ascent model. Now keep in mind, again, there are seven or eight seat passenger configurations with a second row bench seat option as well. So if feel free to come on in and see how we can help you further. If the touring package is simply a little bit too much for you, again, we have plenty of other options on this vehicle that will suit you better should you want something a little more simplistic. So again, come on in, ask for me. My name is Ed Walsh and I'd be happy to help you as well as will any of my other associates. And don't forget to check out our website at walzersubarustpaul.com. Thanks so much for the walk around and have a great day.